Hey everyone, Couch Investor here with another video for you today. Now today we're going to talk about a stock that is not very well known and uh, it belongs to a, a, a group a category of stocks that is uh, well even lesser known and lesser appreciated by by the market as a whole because I think it has a huge potential and uh, it maybe has a, a a spot in your portfolio as well as in my portfolio. Um, before I get started, again, I want to thank everyone that has been currently uh, recently subscribing to the channel. We are almost at 200 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed and you like the videos, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to get notified when I upload the videos, hit that notification bell as well. Um, again, if you like the video, I would really appreciate it if you uh, click on the thumbs up button, it really helps with the whole uh, YouTube algorithm um, getting my videos out there. Now, the stock we're going to talk about today is called Invite. So, in short, Invite is a leader in advanced medical genetics. Um, their company's goal uh, is to make genetic information affordable and accessible to everyone because as of today, if you want to get tested, uh, if you're having a baby or whatever, you want to see if there are any her hereditary diseases, um, running it through your family, it will cost you thousands of, of, of dollars just, just to test that out. And Invita is just one of those companies that, that wants to make those tests uh, for you affor affordable. Um, so what do they test for? So in short, um, Invita uh, offer gene panels and single gene testing for a broad range of clinical areas, including hereditary cancer, cardiology, neurology, uh, pediatric genetics, metabolic disorder, immunology, and hematology. Now, if you want the full uh, lists and everything, everything will be down in the in the comment section below or in the description. Um, again, it's very simple. You go on their website. You say if you're an individual or if you're a provider, let's say you want to order a test, you just click on order a test right here. Um, then which of these best describe you? Let's say you're pregnant or you just have, I have a personal or, or family history of condition, or if you're generally healthy and just want to, to understand or, or see what, what uh, risk you, you could be uh, seeing. And then there are three, three more options, uh, cancer screening, cardio screening, or the overall uh, tests. As you can see, it's much cheaper than, than what you get in the market today. It's to get tested for everything is only 350 bucks. Obviously, it's it could be a life-changing test and for $350, and I think some insurances might cover uh, some parts of it, so that's even even better. Again, for more info, everything will be down in the comment section uh, below. Now, for us investors, um, the price today is uh, $16.21. Um, I'm here in the pre-market. So as of now, uh, the futures future markets are up uh, for the Dow Jones 1.12%, for S&P 500 same thing, 1.12 for the Nasdaq, 1.27. European markets are, are in the green. So a lot of positive news coming out uh, to us because we're trying to reopen the economy, etc. So the market is basically reacting to that. Now, as you can see, before the whole market crash, the stock was at $27. At its lowest point, it was below $10. It was at $7.64. So a uh, pretty good swing in trading right there um, but again we're looking at the, at the long term and long term views i think the whole genetics industry will grow into a multi billion dollar industry and as of now the market doesn't really appreciate uh, what, what they are doing or what they're capable capable of doing in the last 5 years we can see the stock was under 10 dollars then in 2018, it started popping up into the mid, mid tens, 15s, then went up to the 20s, and now it went down back to 16 dollars. Um, a market cap of only two billion dollars, which is very, very small. Yes, they've missed their earnings. Earnings report are, by the way, tonight after a market closed. I will uh, 
write in the comment section below what the results were um, so stay tuned for that revenue is growing but earnings are growing in the wrong direction we should say um, this is yeah that's hap well this happens when a company wants to to grow very fast um, and we don't see earnings reflect uh, the growth we see the revenue growing year over year but we want the revenue to go back up into the positive side um, i can read you a couple of uh, expectations for for the earnings report so uh, it is scheduled to report first quarter earnings may 5th so tonight uh, its earnings missed estimate in each of the trading four quarters uh, the average miss being 12.1 percent so let's took, let's take a look at, at the numbers itself um, over the last few quarters genetic testing one of invitae's key business segment has been consistently de delivering robust results that's what we like to hear a trend which is likely to have continued in the first quarter and in my opinion will continue in the next one in the next couple of years as well as the industry grows and grows um, lately the company has been witnessing a rise in the numbers of oncology patients undergoing genetic testing uh, in the fourth quarter of 2019 the company accessioned more than 148,000 samples for the genetic testing which reflected a strong year-over-year -year increase um, obviously volume growth has been increasing as well this trend is expected to have continued in the fourth quarter of 2020 um, this is how the stock reacted after earnings uh, surprises so a lot of earning misses um, so we hope to see a green arrow right here now let's look at the q1 estimates the zax con consensus which is very reliable uh, estimates a total revenue of 62.1 million dollars implies a growth of 53.2 percent from the prior year uh, quarter figure very good also the consensus mark for loss came in at 84 cents suggesting a 78.7 percent fall from the prior uh, year quarter figures so which is even better because we want to be seeing positive numbers so the closer we get to that uh, break even point the better um, and then it's just uh, the, their rankings so they have a ranking system from one to six i think one strong buy two buy three hold then four sell uh, five uh, strong sell so one to five currently it says at two so it's a buy for them it's a buy for me as well um, but uh, let's look even further at some some numbers so as we saw revenue grows now i want to show you just two numbers very quickly in the, on their balance sheet so total assets have been growing immensely in the last couple of years we're now at 781 million dollars in total assets um, now let's look at the liability obviously liability has been growing as well but it's good to see that there's almost a two to one ratio uh, assets to liability that's what you want to see in cases uh, of, of crisis or they there they need more more time to reach a goal um, it's always good to have that two to one ratio in uh, assets and uh, liability which is what we have uh, right here almost i think it's a one 1.80 1.90 or something like that now total shareholders equity has been growing as well which is also a very positive thing for shareholders you want the shareholders equity to grow uh, year over year now why did i pick this stock basically this stock um, is in one of those etfs in the arc investment uh, portfolios um, i will do a separate video on arc invest because i think it's a very very interesting uh, etf to own for for beginners that don't want to to uh, pick individual stocks you want to have someone manage a group of stocks i think this is the way to go um, they are focused on innovation uh, stocks so tesla square and vitae 
uh, Stratasys uh, Illumina. I know Illumina is a very popular stock out here. All of that are, are in actively managed innovation ETFs. So let's say in this one, ARK Innovation, I know number one is probably Tesla right here. Um, then Square. Uh, so you can see Tesla, Square, Invite, Illumina, Roku, and the list goes on. Uh, but I will do a separate a separate video. I will go in depth into each and every ETF because I think it's very, very interesting, especially for the beginner uh, investor. Now, another article, why Invite stock popped as much as 13.2% today. So this was uh, a week or so ago. Um, basically the market uh, pumped up a bit but how did this affect Invite? Invite has publicly commented on how the coronavirus pandemic uh, hasn't publicly commented on how the coronavirus pandemic uh, has impacted operations but investor can likely expect at least a short uh, term drop obviously um, if they could couldn't have operated fully um, like they did before, but uh, we could expect um, growth in their last quarter and we should see uh, how their forecast for 2020 will be, their, their guidelines and, and guidance um, for, for the next year or so. Um, but overall, uh, I think since the world is now in a biological uh, crisis, stocks like these will mostly gain uh, more traction and more attention from, from the market. Uh, because again, it's a huge market to, to be in, especially now because we're still in the early stages. Yes, uh, I think Illumina has been out there for, for years and years, but again, with the technology we have today, um, with the amount uh, of cost that those companies are reducing to make it very affordable for each company, for each company, for each family to uh, to test and to see if uh, they're healthy. Um, I think not a lot of people understand how important it is to catch a disease very, very early. The earlier you catch it the more treatable uh, it, it will be become. Um, so for me, this is just one of those stocks that I would love to add to my portfolio. If I can't, if I won't be adding this stock individually, I would probably go um, with one of those uh, ETFs right here. They have an ETF um, specifically for uh, genomic revolution. So CRISPR, targeted therapeutic, bioformatic, molecular diagnostics, stem cells, uh, agricultural biology. But again, like I said, this is going to be a separate video. Um, and again, I think the earnings tonight will, uh, will surprise a lot of people, uh, hopefully in a positive way. Um, so for me, I still have not added uh, my position, a position in this stock. But if I were to add, um, it would probably be to today or tomorrow, seeing the earnings, seeing what the guidance were, uh, etc. Um, yeah, and that will be it for, for this video uh, today. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, put it down in the comments below. And if, if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time to hit that subscribe button. And uh, take care, everyone. Stay healthy and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.